So this is our setup and we're really excited about it because uh, our transmitter is getting um, a good deal of power and it's putting it into the air rather efficiently. Well, we decided to make something that, that would work for an end user and it would work for somebody that's on the street. You know, anybody that's a hobbyist, somebody that wants to take this technology and actually make it work. So what we did is we came up with this set of devices that you see in front of the camera and I just turned them on. This guy over here is an amplifier setup which takes 24 volts, uh, anywhere really between 16 and 24 volts and it's rumored to go up as far as 48 but I'm not going to show that right now. Uh, we've got a transmitter that's this guy right here, this, this blue square we've got a receiver unit. The receiver unit's regulated. It has a 5 volt regulator on it with some protection circuitry and makes sure the thing doesn't burn out. And it can power TTL logic stuff like microprocessors and other cool things that users might want to try. So how does it work or how well does it work is the question. Well you can see I've got it maybe a foot and a half up here and it's still powering a really heavy LED on this 5 volt rail. Um, it doesn't cut out until you get maybe two or three feet away and then the LED goes out. Now we're sideways over near the camera and we're still picking up power. Um, these color changing LEDs are pretty popular by the way. I like these things because they got a little controller in them that changes the color. It's pretty nifty. But uh, what's more nifty is that we're powering them without any wires. So we don't need any wires to make our neat color changing LED change colors. <laughs> 